Getting vehicles to take off and fly is one thing, getting them to land is another. Simone has a forward and downward thruster linked to a channel in order to land his plane. Once on the ground, the wheels now control the vehicle. Up and forward thrusters then allow him to take off again. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. Sonobro may have just created the world's first functional forklift in LEGO Fortnite. Form an orderly queue ladies, this guy's forklift certified. The lift bit is controlled by a single thruster mapped to a channel. And the full effect has created an amphibious vehicle which is useful for crossing large bodies of water. Once in the water, momentum can no longer be achieved by the wheels and the engine, so they switch to the thrusters. Back on land, the engines and wheels take over. Pretty genius. Oh, and with two engines, this thing is quick. Ginger J has built an incredible pirate ship. The downstairs comes complete with living quarters. And one of the best things about the new vehicle update is seeing some of these larger pirate ship builds work with functional steering. Sure, it's not the fastest vehicle in the world, but it's certainly one of the most stylish. And just wait until the addition of the leaked cannon in game. We'll soon be able to do pirate battles. Orion Trial ditched utility and went for pure power with their muscle car build. The force of the rear thrusters combined with the turning thrusters allow this thing to drift. This is Kay's motorcycle concept and it's a lot of fun to drive. The floor pieces either side act as stabilizers to prevent the bike from tipping on its side. Rail Dota has taken a similar approach to their bike design. They've just finished a night shift and they're pulling up to their garage now. It's an impressive garage full of interesting vehicles. Dota's bike design is almost a build on K's. The stabilizers house thrusters on either side to balance the weight out. For some, getting to grips with the new vehicle system has been challenging.
I mean, it's technically moving. Time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. Algam Online's Plane Vision 1 shows what's possible with this new vehicle system. While on the ground, the engines power the wheels and turn the plane. Algam has provided subtitles to what's possible with the thrusters mapped to each of the three channels. The turning circle on this thing is wild. If you've built a vehicle in the latest LEGO Fortnite update, I'd love to see it. Send us your clip using the link in the description. But here's where it gets interesting. You can unlock even more thruster combinations, depending on the order you activate the channels. A few disclaimers. 1. This might be a glitch. And 2. This reports the combinations only work in sandbox. These combinations give you even more control. For example, here's Algum using a channel combination to pull off a backflip in the plane. Here's a list of the known glitch combinations if you'd like to integrate them into your builds. I didn't have to wait long to see the first Star Wars inspired builds come out of the new vehicle update. Okay. Somebody Somebody fly this thing and do a barrel roll. The Deerberger droid at the back is an actual stroke of genius. Right. Okay, we're going for a flight and we're going to do a barrel roll. Intentional this time. And that's not the only Star Wars inspired build since the update. The Mad Puck has built the Razor Crest from Mandalorian. But can it fly? Exactly my advantage here is the Razor Crest. I can now also move, move backward. Well, once I go high enough. Are, are you ready for this? Yep. Yeah. This thing is large. Naturally, it's not the most nimble thing in the sky. Yeah. Hell, I, I hell of a loud. So yeah, I can actually control where I go. Despite its size, it's able to turn in the air pretty nicely. <laughs> Flying bases just became a lot safer and easier to build. The vehicle has upwards thrusters on the underside. When they're not powered, it weighs just slightly more than the balloons can handle, so it sinks gently to the ground. 
This is helpful for landing. Landing speed can be limited even further by occasionally activating the upwards thrusters to slow it down. Wheels on the underside prevent or limit the vehicle from being damaged when landing, which is smart. 50 minute build time. Destroyed in 5 seconds. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you tomorrow for another video.